Hi, this is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home, and I'm here at a job site. This is not my job site. This is another. Uh, this is actually an owner builder site, and they use the zip system on their home. And I kind of want to walk through the the points with regard to a zip zip system. Maybe some pros and cons. There's a lot of pros to it, but there's a couple of cons I want to go over. So let's walk through this home. This real close to my house. I live up the street here, and I'll walk you through this home that they use the zip system home. Okay, the the. The real thing with regard to a zip system when you have a complete enclosed home like this is that you're shutting off the home from breathing. One of the reasons why a lot of old pioneer homes last for so long is because they breathe, all right? Anytime you can have a crawl space or anything, the wall system that can breathe, if it gets wet, it's gonna dry out, especially in an environment where we live. I live in a very, very arid environment. And so uh, things dry out really, really, really quick. If you're in a humid environment where, where there's a lot of rain, uh, making sure that there's drying out that occurs with your home, that's super important. So when you do seal up a home like this and it's completely sealed up, you neg you're going to want to have some, what's called some makeup air inside the home where you're actually bringing in fresh air into the home and exhaling air, making sure that you have that movement. For example, if you have a wet cloth or wet a towel, and you just let it bunch up on the floor and you let it sit, it's not gonna dry out. But if you hang that, that towel and let it dry out, it's gonna be dried out pretty quick. Some areas like uh, Louisiana it may dry out in eight hours. In my neck of the woods, it's gonna dry out in about an hour. So letting air move across things to let them dry out, that's really a key for building science. So when you, when you do seal up, you're gonna wanna have makeup air where you're moving air inside the home to keep things fresh and whatnot. A couple of things I want to go through is one of the weakest spots for air movement in a home is the bottom plate. This is down here where you actually have the, the bottom plate, the treated lumber on the bottom of the foundation. And a lot of times they'll put uh, a seal seal on the bottom of that or they'll glue it with liquid nails. But even so, there's a lot of gaps underneath that plate where air can move through underneath that plate. In fact, it's probably the weakest pot on a home, especially with a slab on grate. Well, this is completely sealed up. So they've got up some treatment here, and it goes all the way past underneath the fascia board, and it actually continues over into the foundation over here. So that's completely sealed off. And again, that's uh, uh, there's some pros and cons to that. If your home leaks, it's not gonna go out anywhere. It's gonna puddle up inside. I actually prefer this because I, I, I want to keep water from the outside coming in. I'm not so concerned with water from the inside of leak coming out. And so this is going to stop that. And they've got water sheeting off on the side here. And you can see there's a long area where on the north side of the home. And if there is some flooding or if there is an issue with water, this is going to stop that from coming in. I typically come up about a half a foot to a foot on the treatment that I do on my homes. So if I do have any flooding, I'm gonna stop that from coming inside the home. And right here, we're about level grade with the street. And I've seen the flooding in this street. That's, it can be pretty insane. So if water did come in, this is gonna stop that from happening. A couple of other things, let's go down here to some windows. You can see that they've got the treatment over the flashing of the windows here. And this is where, this is where the water comes down and it wants to come down around here. And there's typically a flange that you have on that window, it's a new construction window, and that water can typically get behind there. So they've covered that over pretty well, which is why you see on a lot of homes up here, it's papered. So they either do the treatment here or they paper it up at the top and that should actually paper correctly so that you can actually put the water, if the water did come down, it's gonna hit on the top paper, over, under, over, under, so the water's not gonna get behind. A Couple of things, let's walk over here. I wanna show you something. Mm -hmm. I've got a roof over here and all the way around the whole thing. One thing I've noticed is, is that you see you've got your tape over here on the top. Well, there's gonna be a flashing that's gonna go right across that. Right now, this sheeting system has been on this home for several months. That's a real positive with a zip system is because you can leave this exposed for quite some time and you can take your time. I like to cash flow my own build so that I can avoid a lot of debt with the bank. And this is, I think, what this couple is doing. They're taking their time. And so they needed something to be exposed for a long period of time. But the water here, it's coming off of the sheeting, which is the same green sheeting here, the same zip system. They actually have it on the roof. That's actually sheeting off, and it's actually getting the fascia board 
um, um, wet, and so it has to dry off, wet, dry off, wet. Well, eventually there's going to be uh, some flashing that's going to go on here. No matter what the roof material is going to be, whether it's tile or asphalt or whatever it may be, well, they're going to want to make sure they put this the tape that you see here over that flashing so when water, if it does get underneath that roofing material, it's going to hit the flashing material, then it's going to hit the drip edge, and it's going to drip off. I've actually seen where people thought that because it's a zip system, I can just put the flashing on it, but if water does get beneath all that, it's going to come under the flashing, and then it's going to come on the fascia board, and it's going to work into the substrate of the home. So you're going to want to make sure that that's taped as well. And a lot of roofers won't know that. So you got to be here on site to make sure that they tape over that flashing of the, of the, of the roof. The things I like about um, the zip system is my favorite item is that I can actually leave this exposed for a long time. <laughs> as long as I'm taped off, like you see the nails here, every nail is, is covered over with some treatment. So basically this home is completely sealed off from weathering, especially rain and uh, any kind of erosion material like sleet and, and snow and, and stuff like that. The whole roof is that way too. And so I, you can take your time. Even if I papered this and I was going to take a long time and I papered the roof, that paper is not going to last the, uh, very long. There's one called a Raptor synthetic, and that can that can take a long time. They can It won't get wear and tear, and it won't degrade in the sun. And that's my favorite. But the problem is, is that even though you put a lot of nails on it, it's going to flap, it's going to tear, and you're going to have some problems. You're going to eventually have some leaks because it's not really a permanent solution. This is more of a permanent solution. So the entire roof has been exposed in the out outdoor air for a very long time, and they've been able to take their time to work on the inside, get their guts done, get their electrical plumbing, HVAC done. And eventually, when you're, when you're done with a build like this, even though you take more time, uh, you're, you're able to cash flow it. That's why I like it so much. But keep in mind, if you do zo use a zip system, you're going to have to get some makeup there because you are sealing off that home. It's, it's kind of like, have you ever washed the dishes in the, in the countertop? And you, uh, and I, I have, it's, it's a trick I do, but I have a cloth that I put all, all my dishes on. Our dishwasher's broken right now. So we put a, a cloth over there for things to dry. But if I took, take a glass and I wash it and I rinse it under hot water and I put it right on the, the cloth, and then I take another glass, wash it, rinse it, put it in hot water, then I put it on the edge of the cloth, the one that's on the edge of the cloth where there's air that can get underneath that, it's going to dry out real quick. But the one that I put right on the cloth, it kind of steams up and it keeps all that moisture inside that, and that's where bacteria can grow. So you need makeup air. Talk with your HVAC contractor to make sure you move, you're getting air movement. So if you're going to seal this off, the inside needs to have air movement. So that's the thing I'd, I'd advise best. But if you're interested in Zip System, I'm, I'm very favorable to it. But just know the, the cons and what you need to do to compensate for air movement. So this is Keith Kaus giving a little feedback on pros and cons of the Zip System with How to Build Your Own Home.